I take transit pretty often and I've definitely seen the odd thing or two while riding on it, but nothing compared to the people I'm about to show you. Hey, I'm Josh Reimer and this is The Sassy Scoop, where I review a viral video or a top 10 list. And today I want to show you 10 people who are doing their best to ensure that you really do see it all on transit. One of the things that I like about riding transit is that it gives me time to get stuff done that I couldn't do if I was focused on driving. Prepping for dinner isn't really something I've thought to do, but what could be the harm in chopping up an onion on the train, I guess? It sucks when you get on the train and there is nowhere left to sit. Problem solved by bringing your own chair. It's not even one of those light fold up ones or something. It's a full on wooden kitchen chair, which I guess he has to carry around with him outside the train. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Another way to deal with not being able to find an empty seat is to just find an empty back. Don't bring around a heavy chair with you. Just bring around your boyfriend and actually turn him into something useful by sitting on him. I'm not sure if his pants are off in the name of religious freedom or it's just really hot, but whatever the reason, I fully support your right to walk around in your undies, because I want to do it too. I'd probably just pick a bit of a cuter pair, but you know what, to each their own. Nothing unusual to see here. I mean, if he didn't have a briefcase, I might question what he's doing on the train platform, but clearly this ape means business. He doesn't belong in the wild, he belongs in an office. That's called equal opportunity. I often see people falling asleep on transit, but never like this. He is taking it to a whole new level. I mean, there's a couple empty seats above him, but I guess he just really wanted to get comfy. Kind of reminds me of a dog wanting to have its belly rubbed, just lying there, knees wide apart. Also kind of reminds me of something else, but we'll just move on. I'm not sure which is more bizarre actually, sleeping on the ground or sleeping in this position. I mean, I guess this would be softer, but I'm just not sure how comfortable that position is. Like, look at his legs. How do people sleep like this? I'm jealous. Okay, I thought that last position looked uncomfortable, but this takes the cake. I mean, how do you fall asleep and stay asleep like that? I'm a light sleeper, so I need a quiet, comfortable environment. Clearly, some people don't need anything but a nose rest. Okay, now this I can get into. This is what I call traveling in comfort. You gotta make the space your own, right? I mean, next you should probably decorate the area, maybe put a TV in the back corner. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Why are you never on my train? Seriously, if this is what I found on transit, I'd be on it all day long and on the train. But wow, thank you for riding without your shirt on. But please, anybody else who wants to do this, just remember that it's a privilege for some, not a right for all. Much like wearing Speedos on the beach. So there you go. 10 pretty bizarre situations to keep in mind the next time you're riding on transit and think you see something weird. But let me know what the strangest thing is that you've ever seen on the bus or train in the comments down below. And make sure you check out my previous video to find out how to win a super gay t-shirt. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another sassy video. Bye. And on the train. <laughs> Did you see that? That bitch. You had one job, blue face, one job.